Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use just a little bit of custom code to replace the mobile menu icon with your own text in Squarespace. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there's a super important thing I want to mention about this code. Not only are we going to change the text for your main mobile menu, but we're also going to change the text for the close option. So we've got two different pieces of code we'll be working with. Then I'll also show you how to customize it to add a border or a background or anything else you might want to do to this brand new text option that will trigger your mobile menu. Let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and I'll show you how this works. So here we are in my demo site, checking out the mobile preview of my website here. And this is our burger menu. If I click on this, it'll then turn to the X option to close the menu. We'll go ahead and close it. That's what we're going to replace with some text. So really quickly, this is specific for version 7.1, but you can modify this for version 7 themes. But this is the main code that we're going to use to install all. <clears throat> So let's navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS because we want this to be site wide. This first code right here is going to hide the burger. I'm going to copy this and we'll scroll up and see what happens. As soon as I paste it, it goes away. However, we just said display none. So it's still clickable. It'll still open up our menu and close it. We just can't see anything. So that's what we're going to change next. Scrolling down here, this is the next code we're going to change that's going to add our custom text and also give it a border and some padding. So let's play around with this one. I'm going to copy this from my keyboard and we'll scroll up so we can see this magic happen. Over here in my custom CSS, I'll enter a new line and I'll paste the code. Now it says menu and it has a border and some padding. If we remove this padding, it's going to pull that border right next to the edge of the text, which is not a look that I liked, but if you don't want that padding, uh, go ahead and remove it. Otherwise, you can adjust it as well if you want a little more room there. Make it maybe 0.5 REM. Customize this value however you see fit or remove it completely. Now we also have a border that I've added here. I just said 1px solid and the solid black color. You can change this to maybe three if you want it to be a thicker border or change this to, uh, I don't know, pink if that's more your style, however you wanna style that. You also don't have to have a border at all. You can completely remove that code. Uh, maybe just give it a background color. How about we go with background color pink? And there we go. So the next thing we're going to do is add some custom close text because when I click on this now, it's still going to say menu when the menu's open. It doesn't say close. And I think that's an important thing to change. So let's go ahead and scroll down to our last code here. I'm going to copy this text, scroll back up to see this magic happen. I'll enter a new line in my CSS and paste this. And what this says is when the burger's active, meaning that menu's open, go ahead and take that content we added and have it say close. So now when I click on menu, it'll now say close instead of menu once it's open. Pretty cool, right? Now any other changes you want to make to close, do that between these two curly brackets right here. Maybe we'll change the background color to a light blue for this one. We can say background color and we'll use my favorite shade of light blue right here. Check it out. Now the close button looks different than the menu button. And again, you can add border, background color, whatever you'd like, even change up the font. Maybe we want it to be a slightly smaller font or add some letter spacing. Let's do letter spacing 0.1 REM. There we go. Now the letter spaced out a little bit and we can change the font size to 0.8 REM and that'll shrink it down a little bit. If I add a Z to spell size correctly. There we go. <laughs> so anything you want to customize about the menu button and the close button, see how this is applied to close as well? Do all of that in this second line of code that we have here. Anything you want to customize about just the close option, add it with this line of code right here. And whatever you decide to do, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. Again, those two codes that I just shared are listed in the description below. And be sure to get creative with things like the border or the background colors. Make these brand new mobile menu options completely unique for your own website. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. 
Available now at InsideTheSquare.co forward slash CSS. That's InsideTheSquare.co forward slash CSS.